Um, my name's Mary Holmes. I studied my undergraduate at the University of Cambridge and I won the 2022 Bronze Medal. Uh, my project is titled Into the Garden. Into the Garden imagines an almshouse for queer elders in the heart of a suburb in Harlow. Um, really, it was the design of a space that I would love to be within. It's kind of a space. There are very few spaces like it that exist and not for lack of need. They are kind of urgently needed in society, but there is very little chance to design them. So it was really wonderful to be able to spend a year understanding what I would want from a space like this and kind of through that act of imagination, through kind of communicating, representing how I would want that space to feel like, look like, what I would want it to do. Um, you kind of demonstrate that these I guess, other worlds are possible in these other spaces. My work attempts to reimagine how care for our elderly population could work and kind of specifically it's attuned to how queer lifestyles are so fluid, so beautiful and joyous and so often forgotten um, and neglected by our systems that should care for us. Um, it is full, full of different types and sizes of units. It kind of imagines that someone could move in to this home at 60 and have a space to age in place, age with community, age together. Um, at the same time, it offers rooms that are assisted care units and these sort of in-between in -between spaces where you could live together with a new lover or an old friend. Um, and it's all about kind of giving a real, a real tangible agency back to those who would live there to change the space, to interact with it, to be within it and to make it a home, um, not in a sort of ephemeral, uh, the sort of ephemeral way that traditional care homes work, but more than a space for these people to live together, it also hopes to welcome others in. It hopes to welcome in the children from the local schools. It hopes to welcome in the community to encourage a togetherness that does not ask the residents to quieten their queerness, to encourage collection that centers those most often excluded. And it's based around a garden, it's based around this beautiful kind of queer site of outdoors and all of the kind of beautiful sexualities of strange plants and bizarre people existing together harmoniously or unharmoniously. I think there would be a lot of drama, I can't lie. Um, but drama that I think that could be overcome. So I think care homes often are a one-size-fits-all solution, but it doesn't work. We, we live in a system where care for the elderly, the responsibility of care for our aging population is pay, placed upon kinship relations. Kinship relations that often queer people don't have in this system those already most marginalised and most excluded depend upon faltering networks of mutual support. Um, and it's really harmful and it's really, really kind of a tragic reality, but it is not... My project does not centre this sort of ongoing tragedy, ongoing exclusion. It centres the joy of an alternative, right? It centres the possibility of a different a different reality, a reality where these people are centred um, and celebrated for everything they have done and overcome um, in their lifetimes and kind of seen and treasured. I guess, to speak candidly, um, for as long as architecture schools have existed, the design of queer spaces, the expression and representation of queer sexualities has been implicitly and explicitly forbidden. and. To do these projects today is still a fight, right? The resources you need aren't readily accessible. Um, my project is no exception. It was fought for by so many, and I am so privileged to have been able to do this project. I, I am immensely grateful for the recognition that this award gives to my work and to work like it. Um, I hope it will smooth the path for those who will follow me. Um, it fills me with hope, I guess.